can you teach me a move from Cheap Thrills? I will. I'll do an easy one. This is just like the in-between move and it's like money pretty much. So you just go like, you're kind of in like a second and you go down and then you go money, money. And then money, you go right? the other way and money, money. And then every time I you remember do this it, move actually. Yeah, and, and every you time you do you. it, you have to do a crazy face. Like we, I have to stick my tongue out like I have to go like that. Okay. So it's like really fun. Okay, ready? Okay. Hey guys, it's Tracy in the Young Hollywood Studio and I'm with Maddie Ziegler. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. I was saying earlier that I'm so happy that you're here because I've been obsessed with watching you dance for such a long time. Thank you. Because I actually grew up as a dancer. My mom's a ballet teacher. That's so, so funny. Yeah, so I like appreciate seeing like, because I know the hard work and the dedication and the talent that really goes into becoming as good as you are. Thank you. Which is so, I mean, you're how old now? I'm 13. You're 13. You started dancing at such a young age, right? Yeah, I was two like, when oh I started God. dancing. You trained in everything, right? Or what did you mm -hmm. actually train? I trained in every style. I started with ballet when I was two. And then when I was yeah. like four, I started doing like tap and jazz and everything else. Did you have a favorite out of any of those? Mm, probably tap. That was my really? f yeah, and tap yeah. is still my one of my favorite styles. That and contemporary, those are like my two best styles. No one really knows that I tap that much because I never really get to do it. But so you yeah. still do like when you yeah, take classes. Yeah, of course, and stuff? I still tap all the time, and it's so much fun. But contemporary is something yeah that is like really special to me too. I have to talk about Sia. Like when she connected with you, like how did that whole thing happen? Like so, she was a fan of Dance Moms, and she saw my solos on there, and like watched me as a dancer on that show. And then she just contacted me on Twitter and was like, "I just want you to be in my music video." So like random, just like that. And I didn't even <laughs> really think it was real because I was like, "That's like, like why me? Like what the heck?" So then two weeks later, we flew to LA. And the second we met, like we just gave each other a huge hug and now we're like best friends even though we're like- I was like, gonna say, you guys are like the definition of friendship goals. Cause I saw that you were on the cover of Seventeen Magazine and she interviewed you, which yes, was so we, cool. It was fun. We had like a fun little phone call. And <laughs> I love that she said that she was like in bed doing it and you were like, oh, I just am like laying around my house. Yeah, so we, like, were, we're just we, were, we were both like just chilling. I was literally putting on makeup like for fun. I was just chilling <laughs> in my house. You were on, I mean, so many of her music videos, four music videos, and Chandelier. Is it true that you thought you had no idea what you were getting into and you thought like, oh, yeah. I'm gonna be swinging from a oh, chandelier? Oh, I, I legit, I was like, I'm gonna be swinging from a chandelier. <laughs> and I thought I was just gonna be like a background dancer and see what was gonna be in the video, cause I oh, never no knew. Idea. Like I was like, so like what else like is happening in the video? Like where are you gonna be? And she's like, oh, it's just you in the video. I was like, what? And I was like, where's the chandelier? She's like, there's no <laughs> chandelier. It was way different than I expected, but I'm so glad. It changed my life. She really pulled something out of me that I didn't have, and same with the choreographer, Ryan Heffington. It was just such an amazing experience, and I was only 11 when I did it. Crazy. Yeah, so it was really <laughs> cool, and I've never really done something like quirky like that before, and I was a little embarrassed at first because I've never used my face like that. How I was gonna like, ask you about weird that. weird faces, I would, because I'm usually used to, at a competition, you do like rehearse faces, right. and it's always like pretty or whatever, but when I was doing this, they were like, it's okay to not point your feet. You don't that's have to be perfect. And that's why I love it so much because I don't have to worry about being like the best technical dancer all the time. Right. What's been like the best advice that she's given you? I remember when we were filming Elastic Heart, she was saying like, if it, enough is enough, then just make sure you tell someone and not keep overworking if you're not happy with it. Right. But I really like to work. Like it's weird because she was saying also most she kids. She said you had a really good work ethic. Yeah, like it's really random. When I'm home, I'm like, I just need to work because I'm bored and I just want to keep moving and moving. <laughs> but another thing I read was that you like make videos for her, like makeup tutorials. Yeah, so. As Miranda <laughs> sings? Yes, yeah, so Miranda. Why have these not been shown to the world? That's what um, I don't understand. Because they're very embarrassing. <laughs> I've, I've actually shown Colleen Ballinger, who plays Miranda Sings, I showed her all I was my. Say, has she seen I that showed her okay. all my videos, and I was like, "This is embarrassing, but <laughs> like you have to see these." And we showed Sia one, and now she's like, "I need you to do an eyebrow tutorial as Miranda. <laughs> I need you to do an eyelash tutorial, and oh I'll just make them all the time." And then, well, like, you love makeup, right? Yeah, that's something. Oh my you god, I love makeup so much, but they're like bad makeup tutorials because they're oh. funny because it's Miranda Sings. <laughs> And sometimes I'll have to retry them like four times because I laugh at myself. Like I make myself laugh because I think I'm funny. <laughs> like when I do them, I just like can't stop laughing. And we just get a kick out of them. Like I'll FaceTime them and we'll watch the video together at the same time and we'll just die laughing. Okay, I think I can speak for everyone watching that we're all jealous that we haven't seen these yet. You need to put uh, them on. Maybe one day. <laughs> 
Um, and then, so you think you can dance, next generation. You're a judge, which is... Yes, last night was our first live oh show, gosh. which was very nervous, but... I was gonna say, is it... It was so fun. Nerve-wracking being yeah, in that I, side? Yeah, like the, Switching the table now, you're on the other side of the table? Yeah, like the first critique I had to give, my heart was pounding so fast, and I was like, oh, I just made it through, like, now I'm okay, but... It was an amazing experience. You're sitting on a panel with Paula Abdul, Jason Derulo. And are they like inspirations to you? Oh, or who for are like sure. who are some of your biggest inspirations? Yeah, I those people yeah. because they're such like legends in the dance world and they've given me such good advice. They literally all they've said was just have fun during this. Like don't let it be stressful. It's just a fun and relaxing experience. And I just took that and it really helped me a lot. And then I have to talk about your acting career because I mean what aren't you doing right now? You have a movie coming out. Book of Henry. Yes, I, it'll be. Is that something you've always wanted to do? Oh also? yes, I've always wanted to do a movie, and I remember I did a tape audition for it, and I was like, I'm just nervous. And then I FaceTimed with the director, and then I was at my dance studio, and my mom pulled me outside and was like, You got the movie, and I was just freaking out. Oh like, my god! Yeah. Was that your first acting audition, or have you? Been um, on? no, I've done other acting things, but this is my first movie, movie like first feature film, so really exciting and I have like the best cast with Naomi Watts and Dean Norris. Everyone was so sweet. Okay, I have to get to some fan questions really quick because we've got a ton of questions from okay. your fans. This is from at Mini Sia Maddie. Um, if you could swap lives with a celebrity, who would it be? Ooh, that's a good one. That's a, that's a good one. <laughs> well, this would be a long time ago when Vanessa Hodges was filming High School Musical, so then I could be with Zac Efron. Uh, okay, <laughs> I, I did hear that Zac Efron's your celebrity crush. Is he you know, I've been <laughs> saying that since everyone knew who I was. Like, I've just been saying, I love Zac Efron, I love Zac Efron, and I've never yeah. met him. Would you fangirl Get, like crazy? You know, I feel like Zac Efron would be slightly different. Like, I feel like I would have no words because I would just like, couldn't even you speak, would be, you would or be I would just like, I wouldn't even like faint or anything, I don't think, but I would just be fangirling inside. Yeah. On the outside, I'll try and Screaming cool. inside yeah. and crying. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and then lastly, at Blakely Olivia 11, what's your favorite song right now? My favorite song? Well, I love, like, I'm obsessed with Sia's album. It's not just because I like, I'm with her all the time, but it's literally, I just yeah. listen to those songs all the time. Cheap Thrills plays all the time and that's such a fun song to listen with my friends and I it never gets old. Do you do the dances in your head? Yeah, every like time every time, time I like... do it, I <laughs> always, always just do it in my head. And since it's like more of like a dance that everyone could learn kind of, it's not so like technical. A lot of people try to do it and I'm just like, oh, <laughs> like it's like it's so cool that you guys are doing it, but you're doing it wrong. Like my mom tries to do it. Really? It's really embarrassing. Well we're gonna go out with can you teach me a move from Cheap Thrills? I will. Okay, which one should we do? Okay. Please something easy. <laughs> okay, I'll do an easy one. This is just like the in-between move and it's like money pretty much. So you just go like you're kind of in like a second and you go down and then you go money, money. And then money, you go money. the other way and money, money. And then every time I you remember do this it, move actually. Yeah, and, and every you time you do you. it, you have to do a crazy face. Like we I have to stick my tongue out like I have to go like that. Okay. So it's like really fun. Okay, ready? Okay. So you go down. down. Money, money, yeah. <laughs> and then you go like this and you do zombie eyes. Yeah. Oh Good job. job. It's pretty easy. That one is I awesome. just learned from the pro, the master herself. Thank you.